Thank you for being a volunteer at the Texas Air and Space Museum. Where appropriate, please encourage our visitors to volunteer also. Please share our plans, hopes, and dreams. The Mall Room is filled with many stories of patriotism, courage, and vision. In a short presentation, I can't possibly share all these stories, but perhaps I can share a few by theme. I would like to begin with patriotism. With displays and stories from World War I, World War II, Korea, Vietnam, and Gulf Wars, there are many stories here. The balsa and tissue models across the top of the display area were built by Jack Rood, one of our volunteers. Seventeen years old at the time of Pearl Harbor, Jack enlisted at 18 to fly 32 missions as a World War II B-17 tail gunner. Jack flew with his crew in the B-17 Miss Green Bay, told his story in a book by the same name. Many soldiers enlisted under age, some as young as 12. The AVG All Volunteer Group, also known as the Flying Tigers, provided air defenses to China against Japan. The Civil Air Patrol, founded six days before Pearl Harbor, enlisted civilians to defend our shores and ports. A German U-boat captain asked why they did not do more in U.S. coastal waters. He said it was the damned little yellow and red airplanes. Amarillo native, Army medic, Taylor Burke, wounded with partial loss of his foot, had to retake the qualification test three times before re-entering the service, only to lose his life protecting another corpsman. Patriotism. Courage. The crew of the shuttle Columbia, with Amarillo's Rick Husband, Lubbock's Willie McCool, and five crew members lost their lives on re-entry, February 1, 2003. Rick Husband was born in Amarillo, learned to fly here, went to Amarillo High School, and on to Texas Tech in Lubbock before becoming an astronaut. Rick's friend, Paul Lockhart from Amarillo, also became a shuttle astronaut. Not pictured are Texas Panhandle astronauts Edgar Mitchell and Alan Bean, who walked on the moon. NASA engineer John Aaron, responsible for the rescue of Apollo 13, and Holly Ridings, the current NASA flight director. Cecil Hawkins, a museum board member, holds the record number of night carrier landings at 303. Orville Wright, a history of the Doolittle Raiders, a history of drones since 1917, the story of the Bell V-22 Osprey with technical drawings, a tilt rotor model. The Osprey is built next door. Bell is an excellent neighbor. Military and civilian history, pictures, and models, inclusive of all military conflicts, are represented. Numerous military, fighter, observation, transport, and helicopter aircraft are on display also. Civilian, general aviation, specialized, experimental, presidential, and airline aircraft are also shown. My neighbor, Glenn Sanders flew P-38s in World War II. In his words, representing the airship toy, he said, I drug this all over the state of Oklahoma when I was five years old. This T-33, built by a Lockheed machinist, was directly responsible for, quote, America's first jet fighter aircraft. Silhouette Aircraft ID Playing Cards and Medals Cecil Ingram that gave us his air coop A World War II Japanese Surveillance Camera We have had visitors from all 50 states and 106 countries. Jimmy Wittenberg, a local ranching family, used planes and helicopters ranching. They owned Radio Shack and Tandy Leather. English Field History 
our airport started here in the 20s by Harold English and Thornton Oxnard. Amarillo, Texas was a key transcontinental service stop. We have an airport beacon from Seminole, Texas. However, I think it's a minion because it's short, yellow, and has one big eye. Thank you once again for being a volunteer at the Texas Air and Space Museum, helping us share the wonders of the heavens and the inventions that take us there.